Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Ange. And today we're watching Demon Slayer Season 3, Episode 1. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been talking about this for ages. I can't quite describe with words how excited I am. Yeah, if you guys have seen our 100k subscriber special, you would have seen that we had Demon Slayer at the top of our tier list of the shows that we've watched so far on the channel. We absolutely love Demon Slayer. Yeah, we love it so much. So I'm really excited for season three. I think we've got like 11 episodes from what I've heard, something like that. That's so, pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. And this first episode is gonna be longer. So maybe like 40 to 50 minutes. I have minutes. heard that. Yeah. yeah, this was the episode that was available in cinemas, wasn't That's it? right, okay. yeah. We were actually going to go and see that. Yeah. And then just react to it again on camera, obviously telling you guys. But we didn't end up seeing it. So this is our first time. Yeah, that's right. I'm so excited. <sighs> Movie length. The animation's obviously incredible. We love the characters so much. Uh, we know a little bit about what to expect in this arc. It's called To the Swordsmith Village arc, I think. Yep. And we're pretty sure that... The characters that it's going to be focusing on are uh, Tanjiro Muichiro, I believe. That's mm -hmm. how you say it. Uh, the Miss Hashira, I think. Okay. And the love Hashira Mitsuri, who I'm very excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you are, yeah. Um, so, I believe they're the main characters. Nezuko as well. No Zen and Enosuke, I don't think. We'll have to just keep an open mind. Yeah. I think they're going to take a back seat. That's okay, as long as what we get is, is still good. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to judge it before we watch it. We'll be honest, we don't really know how it can possibly top the Entertainment District arc. Yeah. That's no hate on this season because we obviously haven't seen it. That's actually like a lot of love for the Entertainment District because yeah. even after Mugen Train, we were like, how the heck can it possibly get any better? This is definitely the peak. Yeah. So I'm, I'm wondering if it's going to like keep peaking. Yeah, that's right. I'm not entirely sure. Um... I am a little bit like you. I think we may we may have peaked because that was yeah, next level. That right? was that was like a crazy spectacle. But um, also, we don't know when you guys are actually going to see this video. Mm. So you probably know the channel's been going through some copyright issues at the moment, as a lot of other channels have been as well. We'll essentially get this up as soon as we can upload to YouTube again. So when you see this, you're probably going to see episode two not long after as well. Yeah, so, true. Yeah, so you guys will probably see that tomorrow or the next day or something like that. Also, if you guys want to skip to the reaction portion of the video, we'll leave timestamps below. Uh, but just quickly, I know a couple of things to expect in this episode. I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of upper rank meeting because that was okay. That was how the last episode ended. Yep. So Muzan and, and all the upper rank demons are going to be in there. And we also did see the teaser for the voices. Mm -hmm. So we can expect that in this season we're likely going to get quite a bit of upper rank action. I had a pretty intense theory that upper rank one, yep. I think it was, mm -hmm. uh, may be related to Tanjiro somehow. Yeah. Because of, you know, the hair. Yeah. It did uh, look telling, didn't it? Oh, yeah. yes. So hopefully we find out more about that this season. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of tension building between Muzan, the upper ranks, and then uh, our Hashida and Tanjiro and all of that because... I'm going to assume that season four will be the last season of Demon Slayer. Now, I don't know how long it's going to be. I, again, haven't read the manga, so I've got no idea. You guys in the comments will probably know a little bit more. But after this, I reckon we're going to get, get the big fight in season four. So it's going to be next level. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I can't wait for today's episode. I think Tanjiro does have quite a while to go before he can even consider battling Muzan. If that's the path that Demon Slayer is going to take us on, I'm not sure. Um, but he's definitely not finished, you know? We can sort of still see he's improving constantly. Yeah, With every right. fight that he's in. Yeah, and he's got the, the sun breathing at his disposal. Sun breathing, And that's yes. very important. Also, I'll try to do a cover of this new OP. I've heard it. I really, really like it. It's really good. We'll see what copyright does. If I can't include them in the videos, then I'll do a separate video where I actually cover the OP. Yeah, that would be sick. And I'll upload it like that. Mm -hmm. As always, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it.
you know your photo ball are going to be next level. Mm, 100%. Ah, oh, this is what's left. Yeah, the entertainment district. Oh. Remember that scene? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's so sick. Yeah, finally some progress. Mm hmm. I have a bad feeling he's not going to be around to see it. Yeah. He's deteriorating. Mm. Oh, yeah, they are related, right? So, uh, there's something. There's something there. There's a connection. Here we go. Is this the castle? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> I hope the final battle takes place here because like Yeah, you've been saying they've yes. built it up. Like look at this shit. Oh gosh. It's just like Oh, it is what it is, like Infinity Castle, it's never ending. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh Kaza Uh, he's epic. <laughs> I hate to say it, but he is. Oh my god. Come on. Gosh. Please. Oh, we got the Akaza theme as well in the back a bit. Oh my gosh. Remember when it mixed with Rengoku's theme? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Mandolin, but yeah. It's not actually an upper rank, though, is it? They're just there for dramatic effect. I'm not sure. I don't think it's an upper rank, though. Okay, they popped it. <sighs> yeah, the animation was beautiful, as usual. Mm, that was stunning. It's like 3D or some shit. Like, something's wrong. Look at this. You're all gonna get an introduction, Carly. Yeah. Oh no, the mouth dude! Oh shit! <laughs> the 90 years! Since the last one died? Yeah, it must have Yoko. been. That's so weird. I have to look at his eyes when he's. Okay. Oh yeah, what the heck? Oh, uh, it's, um, is it, was it Rui or something? No, not Rui. Oh, what was his name? The one who recruited, uh, Gitaro. Yeah, we saw him in the finale. Yep. He's up rank two. Shit, okay. Dorma. Dorma. Their designs are so good. They have not held back. Oh. Oh, <laughs> shit! They don't really get along. Yeah! I don't know what I was expecting. Just like that, hey? Oh, he's been here all along? Yep. Here we go, Carly. Relax. I can't. There he is! Kokushibo. 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 Oh, it's Moo. This is an epic reveal, this man. This is too much. <laughs> this is like very cinematic. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's looking fresh, Angelo. What's he doing there? You know, blood stuff. <laughs> I think he's getting ready to recruit. Doesn't it have something to do with the lilies that he's been after? Should my weakness too. It's the truth. Looks real. Yeah, it's crazy. 
式一族を未だに葬っていない青い彼岸花はどうしてルースパルルリリあなた様の望みに一歩近づく I can't with this one. Let's hear it then. <gasps> oh, there you go, Angelo. Mood took care of it for you. <laughs> the fanboy. Blushing. Oh but I, I don't know where his facial structure starts and where it ends. <laughs> I think that's the old dude, maybe. Oh no. And him too. What are these anklets he's wearing? On, a, on Akaza. We've seen that before. Oh shit. Again! Yeah, that's true. They're so dysfunctional. Was it him? Ooh. You scared of him though? Why is he hiding his face for? It's gonna be a reveal. I bet he's handsome like Tanjiro. <laughs> he's a dickhead. Handsome Kali. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Is it Goma? He reminds me of um What's his name in JJK? Oh dang! They've got beef. Yeah. Oh, cause I said he's gonna kill him. Why has he got beef with people? He's got like this uh, impulse, you know, this rage. <laughs> this dude here reminds me of... Gojo, right? No, the other one. The other one? The playful villain in JJK. I forgot his name. A villain? Mahito. Oh. Mahito. Yeah, actually. It's like that... Playful. Yeah, yeah but that... it's kind of like really dark. <laughs> yeah, they have similar voice actors, I think, too. They sound very yeah. similar. Yeah, his voice definitely does sound very similar. Yeah. <laughs> this is too much. I know I'm going to hate them so much when they're fighting, but... <laughs> oh, they're BFFs. Yep, there they go. Why does he turn? The, the mark on his face. Yeah. He's got the black Nichiren sword. Or oh, maybe that's just the cover of the sword. Mm. What? Oh, she must be so sad and to seem like that. Oh, shit. Yeah, he was poisoned, banged up, all all of it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. I ship them. Yeah. Canal? Yeah. Tengen's there. Yeah. This guy sounds like Saitama. <laughs> yeah, actually. 
So now I'm just okay to do it. Oh, that's nice. This guy seems all right. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry about him. He's great. <laughs> yeah. This is oh. not what he needs right now, though. No, no. He's used to it. Yeah, with Zen around. Yeah. That's why he's yeah. not reacting. Oh my gosh. Chill, bro. <laughs> I have not breathing. Oh, they're all so worried about him. <laughs> oh. This is so cute. That's so cute, man. It's Aoi, right? Oh, it's like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's so cute. They all care so much about him. Yeah. She came out of her shell. It was nice. <laughs> oh, she's so sad about it. Oh no. Is he there? <laughs> Why? Uh. <laughs> Don't touch it up! <laughs> okay, that's yeah, a big win a for him. Competition. Oh, actually, it is for him, isn't it? Badger. Oh. <laughs> I hope so. He's higher up on the food chain. <laughs> Inosuke's hilarious, man. I needed that after meeting the uh, the upper ranks. Here's Zen. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> oh gosh, it's excruciating, isn't it? He probably misses uh his mates. Mrs. Nez. Oh, yeah. Needs to go and get one, right? Yeah, that's the. I think that's going to be the whole point. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Yeah, he's pissed off. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense <laughs> considering their history. Yeah. Swordsmith Village. And so it begins. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dang. Shit. Super secret. It's just like a normal town. Why are these people allowed to know? I guess work it's like there. a village. That oh, is beautiful. It's small. <gasps> oh dear. Oh shit. The animation's beautiful. You know, the rocks and then <laughs> the water, the mist. You want to go to hot springs? Angelope! <laughs> This is going to be a problem. I think if she stays in the springs, it will be. I can't with these masks. Yeah. <laughs> this is the biggest pout I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. You okay? Yeah, why? I'm listening. Hmm. We're going back to the hot springs. Okay. Do we have to? 
A hemorrhoids, okay. Dang! Constipation? I wonder what uh, Mitsuri was in there for. Mitsuri was in there for fan service. He's so respectful. <laughs> Good on him. I wouldn't have been composed enough. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> That's the shot right there. You could really, you know, learn something from Tanjiro. Stop, Carly! <laughs> oh, dang. Oh, oh, dang. Is this dude? Is he pulling out his teeth? Is he going to be in this season? Yeah, I didn't realise. Genya, that's right. Oh! Oh, okay. Well, that was the one that was an asshole to Mitsuri. Yes. Oh, yeah, he was wondering that. Wait, I said that. Did I not say that? I think you did. Oh, what? They had some fight. It is related. Mm. Okay. I thought, because their scars or whatever, that looks, you know, similar. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. oh, where else to go? <laughs> so she's going to be really strong. I can't wait to see her fight. I know, same. Mm. And Mitsuri is my favorite character. I like her. I like the way she thinks about things. <laughs> yeah, the nosebleed. I was waiting for that. That's brilliant. I would have collapsed. Oh, there he is. Muichiro. Yeah, who's that? Oh, that's... It's upper rank one, yeah. Oh, sh what? Yeah, I saw the, the red robe thing. Howry. Why is he there? I'm confused. In it's the dude dream. that he was with. And he felt bad for, like, overstaying his welcome and stuff? Hey, we didn't get a nin-nin. At least we still have a Taisho secret, though. <laughs> I ship Aoi and Inosuke. <laughs> really? What? <laughs> Shit. Surely this not. This goose. He just wanted to tell him that he woke up first. Yeah. Okay. So that was great as we thought it would be. <laughs> yeah. There's a bit to talk about. So the way it started out was was the animation studio, Ufotable flexing, like so cinematic. It was so well done. The music was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, it was very hype. Yeah, it was. It was really setting the stage. Now, there's a couple of things that I noticed 
in that meeting. One, Akasad doesn't like any of them at all. And he's only really scared of Muzan. And upper rank one, too. Is he scared of him, though? Because he said that he was just going to kill him or whatever. Yeah, but whenever he spoke, Akaza's, like, veins were popping and he was, like, freaked out, I reckon. Yeah, well, if you actually notice, like, Muzan barely addressed... What was it? Kokushibo? Something like that. Um, Was upper rank one's name. Muzan barely even addressed him or spoke to him at all. So, this dude is next level, I'm thinking. Mm. Like, really next level. Yeah, for sure. He would have to be to be number one, right? Yeah. And, I mean, now that we're talking about him, we had that dream there. So, that wasn't a flashback. That was a dream. Oh. Tanjiro was having a dream. Okay, but who's that person who was there in the Swordsmith Village? That's the same person as the person in his dream. Yeah, who's also likely rank one. They look the exact same, except for the eyes. Okay. Do they not? Like, that's so, a thing. So, I don't think they're the same person. Rank no. one and then that person who was at the Swordsmith Village just now. How can that be? Because this took place after the Entertainment District. Both cases did. They met together, all of the demons, because yeah. one of the upper ranks had been killed. Tanjiro, yeah, was in a coma and then he went straight away to the Swordsmith Village to get a new sword. Yep. So are you saying in two months? No, that doesn't make sense. Because the demons met at the Infinity Castle before the scene in the Swordsmith Village when Tanjiro's looking at him yeah, right that, now. That's fine. I'm saying he just rock, rocked up. The demon. Yeah. In the sunlight. Was it in the sunlight? Yes. Interesting. They're different people. Maybe. I thought they were shaded there, but from the trees. Maybe. But okay, yeah, you could be right. Twins. Okay. And one went down the dark path. I think it was Tanjiro, because remember Tanjiro had the long hair back in the day. Yeah. Back before season one mm. started. And he had it in like his ponytail. Tanjiro's dad was different. He had hair more like upper rank one. Okay, so then what, what was happening in that So scene? I think after Tanjiro's mum gave birth to his youngest sibling, Tanjiro's youngest sibling, she was really sick and stuff. And this guy, I don't know why I'm, I'm maybe thinking it's his uncle or something because it looks so much like Tanjiro and yeah, his dad, yeah. um, has come to help out. Like for some reason or whatever. What was it? Um, he came to nurse... Tanjiro's mum back to health. That's what Tanjiro said. And he came for another reason too. Um, because he said he felt bad for overstaying his welcome and like eating their food still and he needs to be on his way. But the person who you're saying is Tanjiro said my wife is sick. Shit. So maybe it's... That Harry would have been passed down to Tanjiro. It's Tanjiro's great uncle then. Or just uncle. Well, it would be... His dad's uncle, because he was talking to him in an unfamiliar tone. He wasn't like, brother, like, don't leave. He was sort of like, you know? Yeah, I'm not sure. But then you've pointed out the sunlight thing. So why? Maybe there's an exception to the rule. Maybe this demon. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Maybe this demon can be in the sunlight because if he's a descendant of Tanjiro's oh, oh, an sorry. ancestor. If he's an ancestor of yeah, Tanjiro's. Don't get that wrong again. <laughs> yeah. If he's an ancestor of Tanjiro's, mm. they have something to do with the sun breathing. So they're probably right. okay in the sun. Or maybe he has access to the blue flower lilies. Yeah. Because I'm, that's the reason Muzan wants them is because um, it protects him from the sunlight then. Pr- probably. I think. That's but what I, we learned. I'm thinking that that also might be why Muzan doesn't talk to... Upper rank one in a certain he's salty. way. He's jealous. Correct. Dang. That he can, you know, be in the sun. All right. I'm going to stick with, I don't think it's the same person as upper rank one. I'm going to stick with, I think it is. Okay. You're probably right. And it's an exception to the rule where this demon can be in the sun because it's a, an ancestor of Tanjiro's with the, the family sun breathing stuff. Very interesting. Okay. Um, that's not the only thing we've got to think, uh, we got to talk about though. We have... 
all that stuff that happened in between. I just wanted to comment. Um, Zen is away on a on another mission. Yes. So th- it it makes narrative sense mm-hmm. why maybe they're not going to be in this season as much. Yeah, it's still sad. It is because we love the characters, right? At least we did get to see them a little bit in this first episode. That's fine. Mm. Um, but look, we're still gonna have at least we're gonna like get to know other characters. So two more hush it up. We're gonna get Muichiro, I think that's how you say it, the mm-hmm. Miss Hashira, and the Love Hashira Mitsuri. How are you doing? I'm all right. I'm excited for season three. um, Yeah, the blood pressure rising a little bit there. (laughs) Relax. I wouldn't be the only reactor being like (laughs) this, please. Um, No, she's fantastic. She's, yeah, (laughs) she's good. No, you know, listen, right? I like a strong female character, but not just that. I mean, she's... She's lovely. She's lovely. Yeah, she's, she's sweet. You know, she's like... She's the love Hashira. It makes sense that she's lovely and sweet and cute. Yeah, I know that. And she's also strong as well. She eats like Goku. I, like, you, I think she's the best. Uh, the simping's going to be real. You guys thought you had a bad in the entertainment district, Dark, with uh, with Ducky. <laughs> this could be next level too. Because I mean, because she's good and your conscience is clear for like that's you know, right. simping over her. I've got nothing to be worried about. Only if we have more hot spring scenes. I mean, we are, like, married, so... <laughs> That's all right. She's a drawing. You notice that. It's just we know anim- how powerful the drawings are on this channel now we've learned. I'm just saying, well you know, true. it's just with the anime characters. I don't do this for live action. I show the respect to the real human beings. I don't know if it makes it any better. <laughs> oh, please. Um, <laughs> no, she's good. So I'm looking forward to her fighting more than Muichiro. Yeah, because we haven't seen her fight properly so yes that's right and we kind of already know that who said it was it Tengen that said Muichiro only trained for two months and became a Hashira yes Yes. it was Tengen wasn't it that said that yeah I'm pretty sure so okay sure he's going to be next level but I I just want to see how they're going to what they're going to do with the love Hashira Mm. like how she's going to fight I just I think it's going to be more interesting yes I definitely think so as well I think maybe they just got the fan service out the way in the first app. So now it's, you know, going to be just business. Did you see Tanjiro cover her up like that? The man is composed. Like, he's elite. He... <laughs> the man got a hectic nosebleed, might I just say. So I'm not sure if he's that composed. No, nah, he's doing all right. He's doing better than all of us. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I can't believe uh, what's his face blew her off. Okay, so that's the next thing to talk about. Genya. Yeah. So my hunch was correct. I'm sure I said it in one of the videos. Someone can confirm that. Yes, I remember. I'm pretty sure I said that they might be related because they looked similar with the... Okay, maybe that's not the most intense theory of mine. Uh, because when I saw the wind hush it up, they, they did look similar. Mm. Um, yeah, that was a good pick. Yeah, so they both got scars. He had a lot of scars on his body, though. Mm. So something happened. This well, could be they, one... Scars are not hereditary, obviously. So I'm thinking maybe they had some real sad childhood or something like that. Yeah, and they're not getting along though. So did yeah. they do it to each other? I doubt it. Mm. That also might be why they are the way they are. They're quite uptight, yeah. aggressive, violent characters. They seem like there's a fortress, you know, built up around them. Yeah. Yeah. Like they don't trust easily. Like I, I'm pretty sure the Wind Hashira uh, voted no for Nezko. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, so maybe a demon gave them those scars or something like that. And mm. obviously he's not going to be trusting now. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, maybe this opens things up for for more characters and more character development. So Genya, Muichiro, Mitsuri, Tanjiro, Nezuko. I mean, that's already five characters that we're gonna get, that we're gonna get amongst the demons that are on their way. So who was it? The, the old-looking, scary, scared rank. Was that upper rank five? Yeah, probably on the lower end of the upper ranks. <laughs> yeah, and then the dude with... Or maybe that was four, sorry. And then also the dude with the the eyes all over the place. Like the mouths for eyes. 
What's yeah, his name? Yeah, he doesn't sit well with me. I don't know his name yet. I haven't remembered it. Y- Gyom- oh, I don't know. I yeah. forgot. We'll get used to the names eventually. Yeah. Um, so there's going to be two. Oh, maybe even three. Maybe even upper rank one. There's going to be a lot to fight. I don't think we're... Are we going to be fighting with upper rank one in this season? I think you're right. Maybe not. Yeah, what is left for next season then if there's going to be one? I'm assuming there is. Well, if next season is the last season, they're going to have to take down Muzan Akaza, who's mm. ranked three. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure. Like, I reckon there'll be a lot of learning about upper one this season. And then fight him next season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I think we do need to get rid of a couple of upper ranks this season. They can't, like, fight them all. Like, it's hard to defeat one, as is. Yeah. And these, they're all stronger than Ducky and Yataro. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm thinking in the last season, you're likely going to have all the Hashira fighting, and it's probably going to be the first time we see, is it the Stone Hashira? The one that prays? Yeah. Um, They've hyped him up. He's meant to be one of the strongest, if not the strongest. Wow. They called him an enigma or something like that last season. I saw it. I remember seeing a scene where it said that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember that too. Yeah. The wind Hashira will probably fight the serpent. Mm-hmm. The snake Is it the snake or the serpent Hashira? He had a snake. So, but oh, okay. yeah, I think it was the serpent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then... Giyu and Shinobi, we've already met and, and whatnot, but they'll probably join in as well, so. It's going to be full on. Yeah, I'm just happy we get to go through all the Hashira as well. Mm-hmm. You know, we get to actually see what they can do. I'm really looking forward to the fights because I think they're going to be a lot different. I'm stressed. Thought season one was stressful. <laughs> nah, not compared to this shit. Well, now we've got, like, some of Tanjiro's family and stuff getting involved mm. and, and all of that. Yeah. I reckon Tanjiro is just going to be like heartbroken when he, you know, meets upper one. Mm. Well, they're connected via, via something, via this dream. So. Or memory. Yeah. Yeah. Something, something's off. Something's there. Yeah. It's got something to do with these lilies. Um, I reckon that's what, Mitsuri was referring to when she was talking to Tanjiro. Oh. And maybe now that Tanjiro and upper rank one are somehow linked, if it is upper rank one, one that he was dreaming of, because they look the same. Maybe that's how he's managed to come over here into this place because they were looking for ages. Remember yes, the demons were yes. looking, they just couldn't find anything. Yeah. I just don't like to think that it's upper rank one, like right there. Yeah, I don't know. We, one of our theories has to be right because they look the same. Mm. So it has to be either a twin or it's got to be him. Yeah. So I'm sure strength does play a factor in the ranking of the upper demons. We mm. know that. Yeah. But is it mainly the humanity? Because didn't Mu say that they're ranked in order of like how much humanity is left? And he's not surprised that Gyotaro carked it. Mm. Because he still had that with Ducky and yeah, you yeah. know they had like a stronghold on their human emotions. Yeah, quite possibly. Okay. But I mean, overall, that was just great. That was really good. Mm-hmm. Um, nice setup episode for for this season. I think. Yeah. We might get straight into the action. I need to be eased. <laughs> well, I mean, if you think back to the arcs, like. The Mugen train arc was, that's pretty much full on all the way through. And then the entertainment district we was... We watched the movie though, so the episodes might have been different. No, I think they were the same. It was just oh, really? the mo- movie split up pretty much. All oh, right. Um, and then the entertainment district was a little bit different. It built to the fighting. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this is going to do this. Yeah. We'll just have to wait and see. I'm sure they'll like ride it really well. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. And obviously... Like, it looks amazing. I could not believe it, especially in that opening scene with all the demons when Mu was doing his little science experiment with the blood. That the was... Glass. Oh, my gosh, man. The animators I'm are like, crazy. I'm like, it looks real. Like, yeah. what the heck? I've not seen anything quite like 
that standard before. Yeah, that's next level. It, in saying that, I'm sure all the animes that are being made yeah. are sort of like upping their game as well. This is the newest anime we've seen. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's the it's the it's visually the most Im- impressive just with that stuff, but everyone else is making their animes and stuff too. It's probably all going to be on the same level. I don't know. I don't think so. Ufotable are just different quality. Yeah, you're actually right. Like, that's that's ridiculous. I don't. You're not really going to be seeing that. That's what sets Demon Slayer apart, I think. Um, yeah, for sure, actually. Yeah, it looks insane. That was really good. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.